Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is going to be a lesson about how to solve one-step equations. All right, so what I want you to do is I want you to take some notes on the problems I'm going to do for you, and then there'll be some problems for you to try, and then you can see how you did at the end. All right, so let's take a look at your notes here. And the first thing I want you to pay attention to is this little table here. And notice it says operation, so we have plus sign, minus sign, multiplication sign, division sign, and then squared, and then inverse. And notice this is the opposite of this. So the opposite of addition is subtraction. Or you could say the inverse of addition is subtraction. So the inverse of subtraction is addition, and so forth. So what you gotta remember is to do the inverse operation to solve these. So these are pretty straight to the point, but another thing you gotta remember is what you do to one side of the equal sign, you have to do it to the other side. So for no, example number one, I'm going to draw a little line through here. So this is going to be like, this is one half and this is the other half of the equation. All right, so this is one expression and this is the other expression. So we want to get this n all by itself. So notice we're adding 10. So the opposite of adding 10 is going to be take away 10. So I'm going to take away 10 from both sides. And notice these cancel out. And when we do this, we're now going to have n equals... Well, 22 take away 10 is 12, and there it is. And one be beautiful thing about algebra is you can take this number, plug it in for n. 12 plus 10 is 22. All right, exam example number two, we have negative 5 times n equals 35. Now remember, this means negative 5 times n, right? So the inverse of multiplying is dividing. So we're going to divide both sides by negative 5, by negative 5, there it is. I'm going to put our little line here. And now when we do that, n is going to equal, well first of all, these negative 5's cancel out, so that's how we get the n by itself. And 35 divided by negative 5 is negative 7. Alright, so again, the opposite of multiplying was dividing, and that's how we got the answer, negative 7. Example number three, we have a number divided by three equals 12. Now again, notice the, the inverse of division is multiplication. So we're going to multiply both sides by three. Again, here's going to be our midpoint. All right, so now when, when we do this, we're going to have these going to cancel out, and n is going to equal... 12 times 3 is 36. And there it is. Just take like the first two. We can plug it in. 36 divided by 3 it is indeed 12. And the last one, number 4. Number 4, we have n minus 6 equals negative 4. So again, this is like taking away 6 or subtracting 6. So the opposite of subtraction or the inverse of subtraction is addition. So we're going to add 6 to both sides. And when we do that, negative 4 plus positive 6 is 2. And let's take that and plug it in. 2 take away 6 is negative 4. All right, so what I want you to do is I want you to try the problems on the uh, next page. And then when you're done, hit play, and you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's see how you did with these practice problems. So number one, n minus 14 equals 20. So I'm going to just real quick put a line through the equal sign. It's like a wall. Remember, what you do to one side of the wall, you got to do the other side of the wall. Okay. All right, so n minus 14 equals 20. So the opposite of taking away 14 is adding 14. Add 14. And 20 plus 14 gives you 34. So n equals 34. Again, those will cancel out. All right, number two. We have 6 times n equals 48. So the opposite of timesing is dividing. So we're going to divide by 6 and divide by 6. Again, the whole point of that is to get this n by itself. And we, we divide 6 divided by 6 is just 1, right? And 48 divided by 6 is 8. So n equals 8. 
All right, number three, n plus 50 equals 90. Well, the opposite of adding 50 is take away 50. So take away 50 and take away 50. So n is going to equal 90 take away 50 is 40. And again, those cancel out. And number four, n divided by 10 equals 5. The opposite of dividing by 10 is multiplying by 10. And what we do to one side, we have to do to the other side of the equal sign. So these cancel out. And n is going to equal 5 times 10 is 50. And again, let's take that answer, plug it in. 50 divided by 10 is 5. All right, how would you do?